Assalamu alaikum doctors. Today I am going to talk about protein energy malnutrition in the pediatrics. So first let's understand the term malnutrition. Malnutrition means defective nutrition but it is not always confined to undernutrition. Malnutrition consists of undernutrition and overnutrition both. So protein energy malnutrition means that there is deficiency of protein and energy. So protein energy malnutrition it is divided into three major diseases and that is a the first is that is called as Quash Yorker. Marismus and Marismic Quashy Orker. So, protein energy malnutrition divided into Quashy Orker, Marismus, and Marismic Quashy Orker. So, what is Quashy Orker? Quashy Orker means here there is protein deficiency while caloric intake is sufficient and it is more common in 1 to 5 year child. I already make a detailed video on Quash Yorker. I will also provide link in the description too. So you can watch there as well. So and, and what is marismus? Marismus here there is protein and caloric deficiency both and it is more common in less than 1 year of child. It is more common in less than 1 year of child and that's the reason sometimes it is also called as infantile atrophy. Infantile atrophy. Now, what is Marismic Quashy Yorker? And Marismic Quashy Yorker, there are certain features that is more resemblance with the Marismus and some of the features are more resemblance with the Quashy Yorker. So, like it is the combination of both of the features of Marismus and Quashy Yorker. So, today in this video, I will be more focusing on Marismus. So, what is Marismus? As I told you earlier, Marismus is, it is a protein and caloric and take deficiency. So in marismus there is protein and caloric intake deficiency and it is more common in less than one year of child. That's the reason it is also called as infantile atrophy. Now protein stored in our body in two compartments. The first is called as somatic protein component and second is visceral protein component. So, in somatic protein component, protein stored mainly in skeletal muscles. What is somatic protein component? Here, protein stored in skeletal muscles. And what is visceral protein component? Here, protein stored in body organs. Here, protein stored in body organs. Now, somatic protein component loss in marasmus condition while visceral protein component loss in quash yorker so let's come toward the certain clinical manifestations of a patient that is suffering from the marasmus so mostly in marasmus patient and marasmus patient the child is very emaciated here child is very emaciated even ribs are prominent so in marismic condition the child is very emaciated very thin even ribs are prominent secondly there is no edema in marismic condition as i told you earlier in quash yorker the most diagnostic feature of quash yorker that is pitting edema but that is how marismic is differentiated from quash yorker primarily that here there is no pronounced edema is found in the condition of marismus so it is important and the most diagnostic feature of marismus is that there is muscle wasting so it is important so in marismic condition there is muscle wasting so here the child is very ill looking and it is cachexic here the child is very ill looking and cachexic and severe body weight loss here severe body weight loss here even 60 percent body weight 60 percent body weight according to expected age So, the most diagnostic and defined sign for marisma is that is muscle wasting. So, it is very important. And here, the child is very ill looking and seen as cachexic. 
here this, there is severe body weight loss occur and 60% body weight loss according to the expected age. So what are the other important clinical features of marisma? So let's discuss date. The most important clinical features in marisma is that the subcutaneous tissue loss is maximum here. So it is very important. Here, the patient have a subcutaneous tissue loss subcutaneous tissue loss here. So in marasmus, the subcutaneous tissue loss is high. So it is very important. Secondly, there is anemia as well. In marasmus patient, there is anemia. Means decrease RBC count. And there could be a feature, there could be a severe dehydration. So it is important. In marismus condition, there is severe dehydration. So what happens as dehydration? If there is dehydration, it means that the body fluid loss occur, body fluid loss occur in body. So fluid loss from the body. So when fluid loss from body, it means that blood volume get decreases. Blood volume get decreases. So what happens when blood volume get decreases? There would be blood pressure become low. So when blood pressure low, so what happens that blood not reach to specific organ. When blood is not reached to specific organ, so what happens that organ become damaged. And ultimately there will be features of hypovolumic shock. So ultimately the severe dehydration in marismus could lead to the hypovolumic shock. So when fluid loss from the body, the blood volume get decreases, ultimately the BP get decreases, when BP get decreases it means that the blood is not reached to specific organs, ultimately the blood, the dead particular organ get damaged, so there could be a manifestations of hypovolemic shock as well. Secondly, in marismus condition, there is altered body temperature, here there is altered body temperature, means there, there can be a, a state of hypothermia or pyrexia. So it is also very important that in marismus the body temperature is not fixed. Here there is alteration occur in the body temperature. There could be high temperature or there could be low temperature. And also there is vitamin A deficiency symptoms appear. Here there is also vitamin A deficiency symptoms appear like bitot spots, conjunctival xerosis and kerato malaysia. So this is also very important presentations of a patient with marismus. There would be a vitamin A deficiency symptoms like bitot spots, conjunctival xerosis and keratomalacia. So what are the other some features of marismus? So what is the appearance of a patient of marismic condition? So there are old men appearance. Here in marismic condition there is the patient has a old men appearance. There is old man appearance, also the abdomen is shrunken, there is shrunken abdomen. While if you recall from the previous lecture in Kwashiorka we, will be, we discussed that in the Kwashiorka the abdomen is protruded, while in condition of marismus the abdomen is shrunken. Now there is no fatty liver enlargement, no fatty liver enlargement is seen. So no fatty liver enlargement is seen and there is no color changes seen in hairs. Shortly we can say that there is no flake sign, that is no flake sign while 
If you remember from the previous lecture in Kaushyokar, we discussed earlier that the flex sign is positive. But if we see merismus in a merismic condition, there is no color changes is seen in the hair. It meaning that there is no hyperpigmented and hypopigmented band is seen in the hair. So it is important. Secondly, the, there is baggy pants appearance. There is baggy pant appearance. There is baggy pant appearance due to loose skin so the more it is also very important the appearance that is seen in merismus that is called as baggy pant appearance and why it is so that is due to the loose skins so what are the possible what are the possible causes for the merismic condition now let's discuss the causes of merismus so the most common cause of merismic condition that is a insufficient let's discuss the causes of Marismus. So the most common cause for marismus condition that is insufficient breastfeeding. That is insufficient breastfeeding. Also uh, chronic diarrhea, chronic vomiting all could lead to the Marismus. So there is insufficient breastfeeding, the chronic diarrhea that is also seen in the celiac diseases and chronic vomiting like in pyloric stenosis. These all conditions could lead to the marismus. So what are the treatment options that is available for marismus? So there is, we will provide the additional calories to this patient. We will provide the additional calories up to 200k calories per kilogram per day so here as we know that here there is protein and calorie deficiency so here we will provide the additional calories up to 200 k calorie per kilogram per day while normally if you see the level of uh, calories that is like 110 k calorie per kg per day so this is the normal value while in case of merismus we provide some additional calories up to 200k calorie per kilogram per day now if there is if the child refuse here if child refuse to intake of these uh, additional calories so in that condition what we will we do we will be giving the additional calories in the form of parenteral root so what is the treatment option for the merismus here we will provide the additional calories up to the level of 200 kilocalorie per kilogram per day and the normal value is this and if a child refuse to intake of these uh, calories we will provide those calories in the root of like an parental root so, so now let's come to the scenario based question that is a three year old child was brought to pediatric department with the chief complaints of failure of thrive diarrhea and respiratory tract infection. On examination, there is bilateral pitting, edema on ankle and knee joints and having moon-like face and sparse hair that is flex and which can be easily flexible. So what is the most probable diagnosis? Now, let's first focus on the age of the patient. That is a three-year-old child. So as we discussed earlier, in the protein energy malnutrition, the in Kwashiorkor, Kwashiorkor it is more common in one to five year of child, while Marisma it is more common in less than one year of child. So here the age of the patient is three years. So there is three year old child was brought to the pediatric department with a chief complaint of failure of thrive. So what does failure of thrive mean? It means improper weight gain as compared to other child of same age and sex. What is imp imp uh, what is failure of thrive? It is improper weight gain as compared to other child of same age and sex. So there is failure of thrive and diarrhea and respiratory tract infection which indicate the recurrent infection. Diarrhea and respiratory tract it indicate the recurrent infection. That is recurrent infection. And on examination there is bilateral pitting edema. So it is the most diagnostic point that is here mentioned in the scenario. There is pitting edema. As we discussed earlier, the pitting edema is the most diagnostic feature for the Kwashiorkor. While in Marismus, there is no edema at all. So here there is pitting edema on ankles and knee joints and having moon-like face. So patient have a moon-like face. So it is like more uh, uh, the scenario is more the condition of Kwashiorkor and there is 
sparse hairs and flex sign. So flex sign is more specific to the quasi occur. So there is flex, sparse hair which can easily flexible. So the ultimately there is uh, three year old child having uh, the major complaint of failure of thrive diarrhea and repetitive track infection and there is spitting edema, moon like face and flex sign. So it is the most probable diagnosis of quasi occur. So now there is a six month boy brought to pediatric department with the chief complaints of failure of thrives and diarrhea. The child belongs to poor family. On examination, face look like an old man. There is shrunken abdomen, dry in atrophic skin, and sign of vitamin A deficiency are seen. So what is the most probable diagnosis? Now, just focus on a question. There is a six month old boy brought to pediatric department. So is in Koshiokar, the age is one to five year, while in Merismus, the age is less than one year. So here the age is six months. It is brought a six month old boy brought to pediatric department. The chief complaints of failure of thrive and diarrhea. So it will show the recent infection, recurrent infection, and failure of uh, thrive means improper weight gain as compared to other child of same age and sex. Also, the child belongs to poor family. So the socioeconomic life is poor. On examination, the face look like an old man. This is important. And there is shrunken abdomen. Is in Koshioka, there is pot belly. Here there is shrunken abdomen. The skin is dry. It is atrophic and there is vitamin A deficiencies, symptoms and signs are seen. So what is the most probable diagnosis? So the most probable diagnosis is marismus. Is the age is less than one year and there is, the social economic life is poor, there is old mean appearance, there is shrunken abdomen, dry and atrophic skin and vitamin A deficiency symptoms are seen. So it is the most likely resembled to the condition of marismus. So hopefully you will get uh, these scenarios. Thank you so much.